Thanks to Wendigo Tea for their support. They're keeping each episode steeped in mystery and value. WendigoTea.com. Your daily game plan for success. It's Sacks in the Morning. Steve Sacks. Hi, Steve Sacks here with Sacks in the Morning. Today is Tuesday, November the 4th, and baseball season is underway for good. And uh, that's something to be grateful about. I'm going to be talking about some great inspirational stories of guys in baseball, guys who never gave up. But before we get into today's story, let me tell you about Wendigo Tea Company. If you're a regular listener, I know you hear me talk about it all the time, and I really hope you've tried it. Look, the founder of Wendigo Tea is a brilliant guy and a rock star, no less. And he spent 10 years traveling the world playing music and sampling tea in his spare time. So he has picked only the best loose leaf teas in the world for you to try. No cheap artificial flavors, just incredible, delicious tea like you've never had before. Give some a try by going to wendigotea.com and use a promo code of SAX at checkout. That's S-A-X and save 15%. And you can find also the link at saxinthemorning.com. Now, today we're going to talk about a guy that was from my era. He played in some really good teams, and we certainly had some battles with him when I was a Dodger. And that is Jose Rijo. Rijo was a star pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds in the late 80s and 90s. He led the Reds to a World Series title in 1990 over the loaded, and I mean loaded, Oakland A's, where he won two games in that series, giving up just one run. Jose was an all-star and won 111 games over a 12-year stretch before Tommy John's surgery slowed his career in 1995. Now, he rehabbed from that surgery, but before he could make it back, he suffered a shoulder injury that required three more surgeries. In 1998, he no longer had a contract and was a free agent who hadn't pitched in three years. But he kept hoping that his arm would recover so he could make it back. But by the year 2000, he had been out of baseball for more than five years and actually ended up on the Hall of Fame ballot and even got a vote. But in the middle of 2001, at the age of 36, the Reds signed Rio again to a minor league deal, and he started all over again in single A, pitching for the first time in five years. Later that year, he made it all the way back to the big leagues, pitching in 13 games with a 212 ERA. Not too bad. He came back the next year and started nine games, going five and four, and getting the most out of what his arm had left to give and retired in 2002. I love this story because it's not necessarily that Jose had great success as a pitcher in his comeback, but the fact that he came back at all is really important. He had a passion for baseball, and he wasn't going to let injuries stand in the way of him finishing his career the way that he wanted. He came back after being out of baseball for five years due to injury is absolutely incredible and a testament to the power of the human spirit when combined with the love and passion for something. So my question to you is, what's your passion? I hope you have something that you've been working toward and something that you love to do enough to keep it working and keep waiting for an opportunity to show exactly how great you are. And that is my short for today. If you like what you heard, give us a positive review, subscribe, and share. Also remember that the Sacks in the Morning swag is now available on my Instagram site, go to Sacks in the Morning underscore podcast. You'll see it right there on the Instagram and just hit the link. Everything's there mugs, hats, tumblers, you name it. Take advantage of it.